Sammy J on ABC Radio Melbourne. What's a storm spotter? And why is a storm spotter colluding with the Bureau of Meteorology? Are they creating storms? Are they harnessing our weather? Should we be afraid? Let's find out right now because I'm very excited to welcome to the breakfast program a Mali volunteer weatherman, Clem Blake from Ewan. <laughs> oh my gosh, Clem, I've just surely mispronounced your own hometown. How are you going, Clem? Oh, good morning, Sammy. How are you? Uh, I'm very well, but I'm embarrassed to have probably mangled the title of your name. Where where do you live? Uh, Oyen. Oyen. Where is Oyen? Yeah. Uh, 100 kilometres uh, south of Mildura. Okay, so we're talking regional Victoria. Is that a place that the Bureau of Meteorology dare not go? Uh, well, they don't have a uh, automatic weather station here. Observations are taken... Uh, once a day at uh, 9 a.m., uh, but I do have my own uh, automatic weather station, uh, which is online 24 hours a day, and I do upload my data to uh, several weather platforms. So uh, people uh, anywhere can uh, access my data. Clem, did you do this of your own accord? Did you just decide some years ago to start up your own weather watching facility? Yes. Yes, I did. Why? Um, I've always had a passion for uh, weather. And uh, just over 10 years ago, uh, that's how Mallee Weather Watch was born. And uh, over the past 10 years, we've uh, gained uh, two storm spotters with the uh, Facebook page, uh, myself included. Uh, We've expanded to uh, several... uh, social media platforms such as uh, Instagram and uh, X or Twitter or <laughs> whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and uh, we do have our uh, very own uh, YouTube uh, TV channel and we produce a uh, video weather forecast each afternoon. Clem, we know that the local community rely on you and, and love you and you've got a big following there, including some awards you've won for your work. But perhaps your biggest fan and your biggest uh, uh, client, dare I say, is... The Bureau, at what point does, with respect, an amateur weather watcher get tapped on the shoulder by the Bureau and and, and asked for help there? Uh, Well, there was one uh, particular weather event a couple of years ago uh, where a uh, small location uh, about 35 kilometres up the road had a uh, severe hail storm. And uh, I was actually observing this particular storm on radar Now, um, I'm a uh, member of a particular site which I pay a subscription to and I'm able to animate the radar images up to uh, three hours behind. Uh, So I was actually uh, watching this storm develop and I wrote a uh, very detailed report and uh, sent it into the uh, severe weather section uh, of the Bureau. And, uh, yeah, so... They basically said, uh, although uh, we have uh, weather watch radar in Melbourne, they uh, very much rely on uh, people on the ground like myself to uh, actually uh, call in uh, such uh, weather events and observe uh, particular elements of uh, a storm. Clem, it was unnerving for me when I visited the Bureau a few years ago to, to learn that it is so much focused on on human, you know, uh, endeavours and human attention. And uh, I say unnerving to begin with. Now I, I understand that it's it's true. It's not just the weather as we learn about it and it, as it's reported is not just now a perfect algorithm that gets it right every time. It requires interpretation and it requires information. And the fact that you're out there providing information is, is a hugely crucial part of the whole jigsaw. Uh, most definitely. Michael Pavlich from Overnights here on the station says a big hello. He says he used to work with you at uh, Southern FM. Do you remember, Pav? Yes, yes, we uh, certainly did back in the uh, 90s. He hosted a uh, program called The Wide Open Road. I hope he doesn't mind me uh, I'm sure he'll be uh, happy with telling it. everyone about that. Uh, but uh, he used to host a program before mine. And, uh, yes, it was uh, certainly... Uh, very memorable days uh, back at uh, Southern FM in Moorabbin. 
Clem, all morning we're talking about the thing that people rely on you for. What's the unofficial duty? We know we've had people who have a ute so they get leaned on for that or dressmakers. I guess you're the weather guy. Do people stop you in the street and just ask you about the weather all the time? They actually do. <laughs> um, and you say, uh, you say we... I'm not on duty. Leave me alone. No, no, I'm more than happy to uh, stop and chat to people. Uh, and, uh, well, yeah. Jen says, and, uh, um, how can you forget... Um, Sorry, I'm going to mispronounce it again. Uyun? Oyun. Oyun. I don't know why I can't get it in my head. Uh, my apologies. But Jen said this is where the World Vanilla Slice competitions were held. Is yes, that, uh-huh. yes. Many years ago now. It's uh, now uh, held in Merbein. And Well, did that, does that mean that you lost the title? Uh, oh, it was just moved to a different location. So, yeah. Did you I, forecast uh, that think... in your weather report? <laughs> no, I didn't mm. actually. Low but, chance uh, of Vanilla Slice today in Oyun. Yeah, but I'm also an avid uh, Aurora chaser as well. Oh. Um, uh, and uh, Is that a good spot, Owen, to see the Aurora? Uh, absolutely. Um, I've been on uh, three Aurora chases since uh, September last year and have uh, got Aurora. Um, and I've just, I've just started uh, DSLR camera photography and uh, Silly Me had the wrong shutter speed programmed in uh, on... Uh, our last chase. So my first attempt of getting the Aurora sort of terribly uh, failed. Well, the hunt goes on. Clem, Blake, it is lovely to chat to you this morning and thank you for your time. Always a pleasure. Clem Blake there, uh, volunteer weatherman up in the Mallee.